Indian Institutes of Technology the Indian Institutes of Technology are a group of autonomous public engineering and management institutes of India. The IITs are governed by the Institutes of Technology Act, 1961 which has declared them as institutions of national importance, and lays down their powers, duties, framework for governance etc. The Institutes of Technology Act, 1961 lists 16 institutes located at Bhubaneswa, Chennai, Delhi, Gandhinagar, Guwahati, Hyderabad, Indore, Jodhpur, Kanpur, Kharagpur, Mandi, Mumbai, Patna, Ropa, Rulki and Varanasi. Each IIT is an autonomous institution, linked to the others through a common IIT council, which oversees their administration. The IITs award degrees starting from B.Tech to Ph.D. The IITs have a common admission process for undergraduate admissions. It was based on IIT JE, replaced by Joint Entrance Examination in 2013. The graduate level program that awards MTech degree in engineering is administered by the older IITs, Kharagpur, Bombay, Madras, Kanpur, Delhi, Rulki, Varanasi, Guwahati. MTech admission decisions are made on the basis of graduate aptitude test in engineering, GATE. In addition to B.Tech and M.Tech programs IITs also award other graduate degrees such as M.Sc. in Engineering, Maths, Physics and Chemistry, M.B.A., Ph.D. and more. Admission to these programs are through Common Admission Test, CAT, Joint Admission Test to M.Sc. JAM, and Common Entrance Examination for Design, CED. IIT alumni have achieved success in a variety of professions. IITs are institutes of national importance established through special acts of Indian Parliament. Institutes The IITs are located in Plus Plus Year converted to IIT IIT Indian School of Mines, with approval of its Finance Committee, Executive Board and General Council, had forwarded the proposal for its conversion into an IIT in 2009, after which a detailed project report was prepared as per the directions of the Union Ministry of Human Resource and Development. In September 2011, a resolution was passed by the government of Jharkhand, recommending the Government of India to convert ISM to an IIT. In June 2012, the Planning Commission favoured this conversion during the 12th Five Year Plan, 2012 to 2017 while maintaining ISM's core competency in mining and geology. The conversion of ISM to IIT became a part of current five-year plan after its passage by the Prime Minister headed National Development Council in December 2012. It may be noted that for this conversion, a bill has to be introduced in Parliament by the Union HRD Minister. ISM is the only institute of India selected by National Development Council or NDC to be converted into an IIT in the 12th five-year plan ISM students have already obtained the support of majority of MPs on this matter. A meeting of IIT Council for the same was held on January 12, 2013. In this meeting, setting up of an expert committee for review of this matter was proposed. The committee formation is currently in process, as of June 2013. History The history of the IIT system dates back to 1946 when Sir Jijendra Singh of the Viceroy's Executive Council set up a committee whose task was to consider the creation of higher technical institutions for post-war industrial development in India. The 22-member committee, headed by Nalini Ranjan Sarkar, recommended the establishment of these institutions in various parts of India, with affiliated secondary institutions. The first Indian Institute of Technology was founded in May 1950 at the site of the Hilly Detention Camp in Kharagpur. On September 15, 1956, the Parliament of India passed the Indian Institute of Technology Kharagpur, Act, declaring it as an institute of national importance. Jawaharlal Nehru, first Prime Minister of India, in the first convocation address of IIT Kharagpur in 1956 said, on the recommendations of the Saka Committee, four campuses were established at Mumbai, 1958, Chennai, 1959, Kanpur, 1959, and Delhi, 
1961. The location of these campuses was chosen to be scattered throughout India to prevent regional imbalance. The Indian Institutes of Technology Act was amended to reflect the addition of new IITs. Student agitations in the state of Assam made Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi promise the creation of a new IIT in Assam. This led to a sixth campus at Guwahati under the Assam Accord in 1994. The University of Roorkee, India's oldest engineering college, was conferred IIT status in 2001. Over the past few years, there have been a number of developments toward establishing new IITs. On October 1, 2003, Prime Minister Atul Bihari Vajpayee announced plans to create more IITs by upgrading existing academic institutions that have the necessary promise and potential. Subsequent developments led to the formation of the S. K. Joshi Committee in November 2003 to guide the selection of the five institutions which would become the five new IITs. Based on the initial recommendations of the Saka Committee, it was decided that further IITs should be spread throughout the country. When the government expressed its willingness to correct this regional imbalance, 16 states demanded IITs. Since the SK Joshi Committee prescribed strict guidelines for institutions aspiring to be IITs, only seven colleges were selected for final consideration. Plans are also reported to open IITs outside India, though not enough progress has been made in this regard. Eventually in the 11th five-year plan, eight states were identified for establishment of new IITs, and ITBHU was converted into an IIT. Organizational structure The President of India is the most powerful person in the organizational structure of IITs, being the ex officio visitor, and having residual powers. Directly under the President is the IIT Council, which comprises the Minister in charge of technical education in the Union Government, the Chairman of all IITs, the Directors of all IITs, the Chairman of the University Grants Commission, the Director General of CSIR, the Chairman of IISC, the Director of IISC, three Members of Parliament, the Joint Council Secretary of Ministry of Human Resource and Development, and three appointees each of the Union Government, AICTE, and the Visitor. Under the IIT Council is the Board of Governors of each IIT. Under the Board of Governors is the Director, who is the Chief Academic and Executive Officer of the IIT. Under the Director, in the organizational structure, comes the Deputy Director. Under the Director and the Deputy Director, come the Deans, Heads of Departments, Registrar, President of the Students' Council, and Chairman of the Hall Management Committee. The Registrar is the Chief Administrative Officer of the IIT and overviews the day-to-day -day operations. Below the Heads of Department, HOD, are the Faculty Members, Professors, Associate Professors, and assistant professors. The wardens come under the chairman of the Hall Management Committee. Education The IITs receive comparatively higher grants than other engineering colleges in India. While the total government funding to most other engineering colleges is around Rs 100 to 200 million, million US dollars, per year, the amount varies between Rs 900 to 1,300 million, million US dollars, per year for each IIT. Other sources of funds include student fees and research funding from industry and contributions from the alumni. The faculty to student ratio in the IITs is between 1.6 and 1.8. The Standing Committee of IIT Council, SCIC, prescribes the lower limit for faculty to student ratio as 1 to 9, applied department-wise. The IIT subsidize undergraduate student fees by approximately 80% and provides scholarships to all Master of Technology students and research scholars in order to encourage students for higher studies, per the recommendations of the FACA Committee, 1959-1961. The cost borne by undergraduate students is around Rs 1, 80,000 per annum. The various IITs function autonomously, and their special status as institutes of national importance facilitates the smooth running of IITs, virtually free from both regional as well as student politics. Such autonomy means that IITs can create their own curricula and adapt rapidly to the changes in educational requirements, free from bureaucratic hurdles. 
the government has no direct control over internal policy decisions of IITs, like faculty recruitment and curricula, but has representation on the IIT Council. The medium of instruction in all IITs is English. The classes are usually held between 7.30 a.m. and 5.30 p.m., though there are some variations within each IIT. All the IITs have public libraries for the use of their students. In addition to a collection of prescribed books, the libraries have sections for fiction and other literary genres. The electronic libraries allow students to access online journals and periodicals. The IITs and ISC have taken an initiative along with Ministry of Human Resource Development to provide free online videos of actual lectures of different disciplines under National Program on Technology Enhanced Learning. This initiative is undertaken to make quality education accessible to all students. The lectures can be accessed at http colon slash slash nptel.iitm.ac.in slash. The academic policies of each IIT are decided by its Senate. This comprises all professors of the IIT and student representatives. Unlike many Western universities that have an elected Senate, the IITs have an academic Senate. It controls and approves the curriculum, courses, examinations and results, and appoints committees to look into specific academic matters. The teaching, training and research activities of the institute are periodically reviewed by the Senate to maintain educational standards. The director of an IIT is the ex officio chairman of the Senate. All the IITs follow the credit system of performance evaluation, with proportional weighting of courses based on their importance. The total marks, usually out of 100, form the basis of grades, with a grade value, out of 10, assigned to a range of marks. Sometimes, relative grading is done considering the overall performance of the whole class. For each semester, the students are graded on a scale of 0 to 10 based on their performance, by taking a weighted average of the grade points from all the courses, with their respective credit points. Each semester evaluation is done independently and then the weighted average over all semesters is used to calculate the cumulative grade point average, known as CGPA or CPI, Cumulative Performance Index. Undergraduate Education The Bachelor of Technology B -Tech, degree is the most common undergraduate degree in the IITs in terms of student enrollment. Although dual degrees integrating Master of Science or Master of Arts are also offered. The BTEC course is based on a four year program with eight semesters, while the dual degree and integrated courses are five year programs with ten semesters. In all IITs, the first year of BTEC and dual degree courses are marked by a common course structure for all the students, though in some IITs, a single department introduction related course is also included. The common courses include the basics from most of the departments like electronics, mechanics, chemistry, electrical and physics. At the end of first year, the end of first semester at IIT Madras, an option to change departments is given to meritorious students on the basis of their performance in the first two semesters. Few such changes ultimately take place as the criteria for them are usually strict, limited to the most meritorious students. From the second year onwards, the students study subjects exclusively from their respective departments. In addition to these, the students have to take compulsory advanced courses from other departments in order to broaden their education. Separate compulsory courses from Humanities and Social Sciences Department, and sometimes management courses are also enforced. In the last year of their studies, most of the students are placed into industries and organizations via the placement process of the respective IIT, though some students opt out of this either when going for higher studies or when they take up jobs by applying to the companies directly. Postgraduate and doctoral education Master's degrees and postgraduate diplomas The IITs offer a number of postgraduate programs including Master of Technology, MTech. Master of Business Administration, MBA, only for engineers and postgraduates in science, and Master of Science, MSc. Some IITs offer specialized graduate programs such as Master of Design, MDES. The Postgraduate Diploma in Information Technology, 
PGDIT, Master in Medical Science and Technology, MMST, Master of City Planning, MCP, Master of Arts, MA, Postgraduate Diploma in Intellectual Property Law, PGDIPL, and the Postgraduate Diploma in Maritime Operation and Management, PGDMOM. Some of the IITs offer an MS, by research, program. The MTech and MS are similar to the U.S. University's non-thesis, course-based, and thesis, research-based, master's programs respectively. Admissions to master's programs in engineering are made using scores of the Graduate Aptitude Test in Engineering, GATE, while those to master's programs in science are made using scores of the Joint Admission Test to MSc. JAM Several IITs have schools of management offering master's degrees in management or business administration. Bachelor's master's dual degrees. The IITs also offer an unconventional B-Tech and M-Tech. Integrated educational program called dual degree. It integrates undergraduate and postgraduate studies in selected areas of specialization. It is completed in five years as against six years in conventional B-Tech. Four years, followed by an M-Tech. Two years. Integrated Master of Science programs are also offered at few IITs which integrates the undergraduate and postgraduate studies in science streams in a single degree program against the conventional university system. These programs were started to allow Asians to complete postgraduate studies from IIT rather than having to go to another institute. Doctoral Degrees the IITs also offer the Doctor of Philosophy degree, PhD, as part of their doctoral education program. In it, the candidates are given a topic of academic interest by the professor or have to work on a consultancy project given by the industries. The duration of the program is usually unspecified and depends on the specific discipline. PhD candidates have to submit a dissertation as well as provide an oral defense for their thesis. Teaching assistantships TA, and Research Assistantships, RA, are often provided. The IITs, along with NITS and IISC, account for nearly 80% of all engineering PhDs in India. IITs now allow admission in PhD programs without the mandatory GATE score. Culture and Student Life All the IITs provide on-campus residential facilities to the students, research scholars and faculty. The students live in hostels, sometimes referred to as halls, throughout their stay in the IIT. Students in all IITs must choose between National Cadet Corps, NCC, National Service Scheme, NSS, and National Sports Organization, NSO, in their first years. All the IITs have sports grounds for basketball, cricket, football, soccer, hockey, volleyball, lawn tennis, badminton, and athletics and swimming pools for aquatic events. Usually the hostels also have their own sports grounds. Technical and Cultural Festivals All IITs organize annual technical festivals, typically lasting three or four days. The technical festivals are Shastra, IIT Madras, Kshtij, IIT Karagpur, Tech Fest, IIT Bombay, Cognizance, IIT Rawalki, Envision, IIT Hyderabad, Amalthia, IIT Gandhinagar, Technex, IIT BHU, Teshkretai, IIT Kanpa, Trist, IIT Delhi, Technish, IIT Guwahati, Whistler, IIT Bubaneswa, Exodia, IIT Mandi, and Fluxus, IIT Indore, Celesta, IIT Patna, and IGNUS, IIT Jodhpur. Most of them are organized in the months of January or March. Techfest is the most popular and largest technical festival in Asia in terms of participants and prize money involved, it is conducted at a totally different scale and has been granted patronage from United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, for providing a platform to students to showcase their talent in science and technology. Shastra holds the distinction of being the first student-managed event in the world to implement a formal quality management system, earning ISO 9001-2000 certification. 
Xtige is the largest in terms of sponsorship amounts and also branded as a techno management festival due to its emphasis on both technology and management. Annual cultural festivals are also organized by the IITs and last three to four days. These include Altringa, IIT Guwahati, Exodia, IIT Mandi, Sarang, IIT Madras, previously Mardi Gras, Springfest, IIT Kharagpur, also known as SF, Rendezvous, IIT Delhi, Tarang, previously Rave, and Tomso, IIT Rawalki, Kashyatra, IIT BHU, also known as KY, Spandan, IIT Rajasthan, Blurthchen, IIT Gandhinagar, Elan, IIT Hyderabad, Alma Fiesta, IIT Bubaneswa, Mood Indigo, IIT Bombay, also known as Moodai, and Taragnai, IIT Kanpa, Zeitgeist, IIT Ropa, and Anwesha, IIT Patna. Mood Indigo is the most popular and also largest college cultural fest in Asia. In addition to these cultural festivals, IIT Kharagpur and IIT Bombay celebrate unique festivals. IIT Kharagpur celebrates the Illumination Festival on the day of Diwali. Large bamboo structures, called shite, as high as 6 meters, 20 feet, are made and earthen lamps, DRs, are placed on them to form outlines of people, monuments, or an event. The competition is held between hostels, it does not receive entries by outside visitors. Coupled with the Illumination Festival is the Ringoli Festival. In Ringoli, large panels showing an event or a concept, are made on the ground by fine powder, and sometimes even by crushed bangles or other innovative materials. Unique to IIT Bombay is the Performing Arts Festival, popularly known as PAF. Technically a drama, each PAF includes drama, literature, music, fine arts, debating, and dance. All PAFs are held in the Open Air Theatre, OAT, on the main campus of IIT Bombay. Typically two or three hostels, of 14, grouped together by random draw for each PAF. All of the dialogues are delivered as voiceovers and not by the actors, mainly due to the structure and the huge size of the OAT. Recently, IIT Guwahati has also started this performing arts festival, PAF. Recognition IITs have a special status as institutes of national importance under the Indian Institute of Technology Act, due to which the degrees provided by IITs need not be recognized by the AICTE. The IIT JEE and GATE are important factor behind the success of IITs, as it enables the IITs to accept only a select group of meritorious students. This combination of success factors has led to the concept of the IIT brand. Other factors that have contributed to the success of IITs are stringent faculty recruitment procedures and industry collaboration. The procedure for selection of faculty in IITs is stricter as compared to other colleges offering similar degrees. The PhD degree is a prerequisite for all regular faculty appointments. Former IIT students get greater respect from their peers academia and industry in general. The IIT brand was reaffirmed when the United States House of Representatives passed a resolution honoring Indian Americans and especially graduates of IIT for their contributions to the American society. Similarly, China also recognized the value of IITs and planned to replicate the model. Educational Rankings Nationwide most IITs are ranked above any other engineering colleges in India in engineering education rankings. Outlook India's top engineering colleges of 2012 ranked seven IITs in its top 10, including the top five positions. India Today's Best Engineering Colleges of 2012 also ranked seven IITs in its top 10, including the top four. DataQuest's India's Top Engineering Colleges 2011 DQCMR Top T School Survey 2011, ranked IITs in six of the top ten, including the top four. Worldwide, the only three institutes in India ranked in the top 300 of the QS World University rankings of 2012 are IITs, IIT Delhi at 212, IIT Bombay at 227 and IIT Kanpur at 278.
the only institute that was listed in the top 250 by Times Higher Education Rankings was IIT Kharagpur in the 226 to 250 category. The Times Asia Rankings featured IIT Kharagpur, IIT Bombay and IIT Rawalpindi at 30th, 34th and 56th respectively. The only institute in India ranked by the Times Higher Education Supplement Ranking of 2011 to 2012 is an IIT. IIT Bombay at 301 to 350. However, no IIT was ranked in the Shanghai Jiao Tong University's academic ranking of world universities of 2011, and the only institute in India to be listed was Indian Institute of Science at 301 to 400. Criticism The IITs have faced criticism from within and outside academia. Major concerns include allegations that they encourage brain drain and that their stringent entrance examinations encourage coaching colleges and skew the socio-economic profile of the student body. Recently some prominent Asians have also questioned the quality of teaching and research in IITs. Brain drain Among the criticisms of the IIT system by the media and academia, a common notion is that it encourages brain drain. This trend has been reversed somewhat, dubbed the reverse brain drain, as hundreds of IIT graduates, who have pursued further studies in the USA, started returning to India in the 1990s. Additionally, IIT alumni are giving back generously to their parent institutions, examples are Kanwal Rakhi to IIT Bombay, Dr. Prabhakant Sinha to IIT Kharagpur, and many others. Until liberalization started in early 1990s, India experienced large-scale immigration of Asians to developed countries, especially to the United States. Since 1953, nearly 25,000 Asians have settled in the USA. Since the USA benefited from subsidized education in IITs at the cost of Indian taxpayers' money, critics say that subsidizing education in IITs is useless. Others support the immigration of graduates, arguing that the capital sent home by the Asians has been a major source of the expansion of foreign exchange reserves for India, which, until the 1990s, had a substantial trade deficit. The extent of intellectual loss receded substantially over the 1990s and 2000s, with the percentage of students going abroad dropping from as high as 70% at one time to around 30% in 2005. This is largely attributed to the liberalization of the Indian economy and the opening of previously closed markets. Government initiatives are encouraging IIT students into entrepreneurship programs and are increasing foreign investment. Emerging scientific and manufacturing industries, and outsourcing of technical jobs from North America and Western Europe have created opportunities for aspiring graduates in India. Many undergraduates go abroad to pursue further studies such as MIS, MBA and PhD. Entrance competition The highly competitive examination in the form of IITJE has led to establishment of a large number of coaching institutes throughout the country that provide intensive and specific preparation for the IITJE for substantial fees. It is argued that this favors students from specific regions and richer backgrounds. Some coaching institutes say that they have individually coached nearly 800 successful candidates year after year. According to some estimates, nearly 95% of all students who clear the IITJE had joined coaching classes. Indeed, this was the case regarding preparation for IIT entrance exams even decades ago. In a January 2010 lecture at the Indian Institute of Science, the 2009 Nobel laureate in chemistry, Venkatraman Ramakrishnan revealed that he failed to get a seat at any of the colleges of the Indian Institutes of Technology, as well as at an Indian medical college. He also said that his parents, being old-fashioned, did not believe in coaching classes to prepare for the IIT entrance exam and considered them to be nonsense. Not all children are of a similar aptitude level and may be skilled in different paradigms and fields. This has led to criticism of the way the examinations are conducted and the way a student is forced in the Indian community. The IITJE format was restructured in 2006 following these complaints. After the change to the objective pattern of questioning, 
even the students who initially considered themselves not fit for subjective pattern of IITJE decided to take the examination. Though the restructuring was meant to reduce the dependence of students on coaching classes, it led to an increase in students registering for coaching classes. Some people, mostly Asians, have criticized the changed pattern of the IITJE. Their reasoning is that while IITJE traditionally used to test students' understanding of fundamentals and ability to apply them to solve tough unseen problems, the current pattern does not stress much on the application part and might lead to a reduced quality of students. Another criticism is about the language of the exam. IITJE is conducted only in English and Hindi, making it harder for students where regional languages, like Tamil, Telugu, Kannada, Urdu, Aria, Bengali, Marathi, Assam or Gujarati, are more prominent. As an example, in September 2011, the Gujarat High Court has acted on a public interest litigation by the Gujarati Sautya Parasad, for conducting the exams in Gujarati. A second petition was made in October by Navsaris Saorji Vallabh of Zarvajanik Pustakalaya Trust. Another petition was made at the Madras High Court for conducting the exam in Tamil. In the petition it was claimed that not conducting the exam in the regional languages is in violation of Article 14 of the Constitution of India. Alumni As of 2008, the alumni of IIT number more than 170,000. The Asians are known for their loyalty to their alma mater and many IIT alumni associations are active in India and abroad. The IIT alumni either help their alma mater in the form of donations, or by preferential job opportunities extended to students from the IITs. The Vinod Gupta School of Management at IIT Kharagpur and Shailesh J. Mehta School of Management at IIT Bombay are management schools within IITs that have been established largely by alumni donations. These schools were named after their benefactors. Many IITs alumni have become entrepreneurs, including Other alumni have achieved leading positions in corporations, such as IIT alumni have also pursued careers in politics. For example, many alumni have gained significant recognition. Many Asians have contributed to innovations in science and technology, such as Dr. K. D. Nayak C. C. and D. D. R. D. O. Dr. P. V. Subramaniam Chief General Manager in Semiconductor Technology and Applied Research Center Bangalore. 